How does the digital landscape change in the future, in your opinion? Well, I'm trying to be optimistic. Um, I'm trying you're to be not. optimistic. I think that this is, uh, um, right now, right now, entrepreneurship rates in America, right now, are half what they were per capita than 1977. Why? Uh, I believe it's the dominance of uh, chains and monopolies. Like, why start an Italian restaurant when there's an Olive Garden? Why start the hardware store with your uncle when there's Home Depot? Uh, why start your silly idea for a little social map when there's Facebook? Mm -hmm. and, um, and the internet, you know, the, the level of scale and control of the web, you know, Google and Facebook control 70% of web traffic. Apple and Google control 99% of our phones. Um, the consolidation rates are insane. And if you are uh, a startup creating anything in the social space, if you have any success, Facebook or Google or whoever will copy you and try to put you out of business. Uh, if you use anything in the commerce space, you have to face it with Amazon is you get into like either creating entirely new spaces, which will happen. It's not, you know, these things are whatever. Everyone on top thinks they're always going to be on top. They never are. Mm -hmm. But um, the level of scale plus the sophistication of these platforms plus how much money they have plus the gravitational force of mass mm -hmm. uh, makes it very challenging. Mm -hmm. And um, so I think we need new ideas. Mm -hmm. um, but I think that these ideas are very, are very possible. And, uh, and you know, you just, have to, you just have to look at things differently. What does Kickstarter look like in five years' time? Uh, this is always an easy question for us, because it's, al it's always going to look the same. Mm -hmm. I mean, it will have, in whatever Wait. ways technology is developed, but like... Uh, how many people use the site on a daily basis and a yearly basis? Uh, I mean, every day, every day it's uh, two and a half to three million dollars moves through the platform, mm -hmm. you know, from probably... 40,000 people, 30,000 people. Okay. So in 10 years, in 10 years, yeah, maybe that's 10 to 15 million dollars a day. Mm -hmm. You know, I think that's possible. That with like that and drip, and we're, we're building like a constellation of services all around this idea of supporting. But, but, but if you looked at yourself as a public benefit, a benefit corporation, almost venture capital fund, I mean, that's pretty massive, the amount of money. That's basically what you're saying right now is about, Seven hundred fifty million dollars a year yeah. moving through the site, ten to fifteen million dollars, ten to fifteen million dollars a day. That's a massive amount. You're talking over. You're talking over four billion dollars yeah, a year, which would be almost larger than most venture capital funds raise over a couple of years' time. Yeah, people are wonderful. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it's all people. You know, it's like we're just the play. You know, we're the place you stop, but it's all. People with good ideas, and then other people feeling generous and feeling empathic and excited about good ideas. It's like we didn't have to invent the desire or need on either side. We just cut through a wall that was there for a lot of different reasons. No, no nefarious reasons, but a wall that wasn't necessary. But I, I believe in middlemen. That's a whole other conversation. I'd love to defend the middleman. I think. I think that's valuable.